Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at something that I don't recall ever seeing or hearing about, especially seeing on video. Three fireballs in the same area, same general area, traveling the same general direction within 90 minutes of each other. Quite rare. We're going to come back to that here in just a moment. That occurred over Puerto Rico just a couple of days ago. What we're looking at here is the Sahara dust layer coming off of the west coast of Africa, traveling across the Atlantic Ocean. That will be in the United States in less than 48 hours. We'll probably go right up the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico and will be visible, quite visible, in Texas, um, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and of course, Mexico and all through the the islands of the Caribbean as a look at it on Null School and here is a image from one of the NOAA satellites the BIIRS this is the aerosol optical depth from the 17th and you can see a very thick aerosol plume coming off of the west coast of Africa there and that will make its way all the way over to the United States also in this video I've got a video of the rocket launch from a gentleman clear in the middle of Tennessee back on the 13th saw this rocket come up from Cape Canaveral that's 500 miles away I measured from this area here he was in the Nashville area in fact he was in Hendersonville and I measured all the way over to the coast the the rocket the SpaceX rocket took off from down here at Cape Canaveral and apparently went towards the north because I've gotten photos now from South Carolina of the rocket as it was visible from South Carolina traveling to the north northeast and now I've got a video out of Hendersonville that is 500 miles from the coast here's a look at the video sent in from Hendersonville Tennessee which is up by Nashville this is in a completely different time zone you got to keep in mind this rocket departed June 13th at 520 in the morning approximately 520 530 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This was approximately 4.30 a.m. Tennessee time. So this thing departed 500 miles away in a different time zone and wild west from Hendersonville, Tennessee and a couple of his buddies actually saw this thing at 4.30 in the morning traveling to the northeast from central Tennessee. Look at that. The light, there were two bright lights interfering with his video that's why it's so heavily pixelated but you kind of get the idea of what that thing is that gentleman right there just said it looks like a trident flying through the sky like that, you hear him talking about it they'd never seen anything like that and that was the spacex rocket launch from the morning of the 13th visible from middle tennessee 500 miles away how about that? And there it is, traveling to the northeast. Pretty amazing video footage. And they were even saying in the video that, you know, they hadn't been drinking, you know, that they were actually seeing that. And here's a photo from the same day. A gentleman by the name of Ray near the Florida coast noticed this very colorful plume of smoke. Apparently, this was associated with the rocket launch of the morning of June 13th, 2020, around 5 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, visible from Middle Tennessee. Incredible. Much like these fireballs that were spotted on camera going over Puerto Rico in the early morning hours of June 16th, and they were recorded going over Puerto Rico within 90 minutes of each other. There's a video here you guys can check out at earthfrenzyradio.com. The video is linked below. Here's a look at the fireballs. There's a collection of of them they went over independently it was this one first this one second this one third they were all traveling the same direction they were about the same size and they were apparently moving at fairly close to the same uh, speed and they may have been from a comet or something i don't know but that is very very rare i've never seen anything like this on camera i'm not saying that it hasn't happened at some point in time somewhere but as far as it being recorded, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Very, very unique. Here's the shadow, the sun angle from June 18th. The shadow will continue to shrink for a couple of days. Very, very small. And then it will start to grow as the sun stops and goes back down towards the equator. The shadows of anything you stand up outside 
will start to get longer as the sun changes its angle and heads back down towards the equator throughout the summer months. Here's a brand new picture slideshow I put together. New sky phenomena sent in from all around the world. Kansas City, Missouri. Something unusual noticed in the sky above Kansas City. They don't know what this was. They sent it to me, wanted me to look at it a little closer to see if I could identify these unknown objects in the sky. And honestly, I couldn't tell what they were. All I can tell you is they're not birds, they're not airplanes, they don't appear to be helicopters or balloons. Andrew Reese from Melbourne, Australia. A spectacular double-decker rainbow that was very close to his location. There's one and there's the second one right back there. Those are very, very close to his perspective. Another photo from Australia by Nick D. sent in by Sarah M. of a very ominous looking storm cloud over the beach of Melbourne. Al from Oregon, very tall storm clouds. Those are what you call double anvils. Greensburg, photo sent in by Cecil H. of a double decker rainbow with a very strong rain shaft in the middle of it. Shannon out of Cedar Grove, Indiana, said she looked up and that looked like a, a ship up in the sky with a triangle craft parked underneath it. And she took multiple photos. This was the, the one I found the most intriguing. And it does look like something different up behind that thin layer of clouds, a, a large structure of some sort. And then you can see what does look like a, a triangle right there parked underneath it. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Dave of a hallmark moment here. Beautiful sunrise from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Cocoa Beach, Florida. Danny P. Sunrise from Cocoa Beach. Been there quite a few times, actually. New Orleans, sunset. Cindy the stylist. Awesome photo coming out of New Orleans. This one here is absolutely spectacular. Henning K. out of Haslett, Texas. Look at the golden sunrise. Amazing. That could be a sunset. Not sure either way. Awesome. James C. out of Valentine, Texas. Big triangle looking cloud in the sky. There was actually two that caught his attention and compelled him to take a video. They looked so much like triangles. Intense Halo by Cowshaw. That is definitely one intense halo. Look at that. We see these now pretty much on a daily basis. UK sky phenomena. I had several people share this video with me. This is just a still image of this amazing rainbow formation spotted over in the UK. Looked like some sort of a, a gateway or portal forming right before her very eyes. It was quite spectacular. I, I totally agree. Jenny G out of Roseville, California. There were two very odd rainbows here, or at least pieces of a rainbow. One way up here, and then one way down here. I actually had a difficult time getting it to fit in one picture. Cool photo here out of Loudoun County, Tennessee, sent in by Kimberly M. of a glowing purple cloud there all by itself. Lewisburg, North Carolina, Kristen of a sundog out there all by itself in a vertical cloud shaft. Lana Banana of an orange sky. You simply can't hardly get much more orange than that. Liz B out of Mexico City. Got a lot of color going on up in the proximity of the sun. Look at those colorful clouds. Incredible photos coming out of Mexico City, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Mallory G. You can see what looks like one of those long snake-like clouds up in the sky that she noticed high above Fort Lauderdale. Sent two photos of that. And then we've got a triangle-shaped sun dog off to the right of the sun. We're going to go in closer. And that's what uh, caught her attention was that triangle shape right there. Actually, there could be two. One for sure. Awesome photos out of Fort Lauderdale. Look at that thing there. It looks like a, a big evergreen tree triangle craft or something pointing straight up towards the sun it just looks out of place it doesn't look natural here's a big rainbow i don't know if this is a, a double decker or not probably is but another awesome photo out of fort lauderdale this looks like two ships parked up in the sky once again high in the sky above florida nikki J out of stockton utah another big thick rainbow shaft sheila out of montana very ominous looking storm cloud coming down out of the sky Another lonesome sun dog, this time out of Dandridge, Tennessee, by Suzanne. Vanilla Child out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Some spectacular photos of the sky around sunset. Incredible beams coming up through the clouds. Looks like something you'd see out of an episode of the Twilight Zone. Look at those beams separating those clouds. Awesome photos sent in by Vanilla Child. 
out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, simply double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.